With summer coming to a close, RuneScape's most energetic face is here to lift the lid on a host of updates coming this September. This behind the scenes, I get the privilege of saying something I've wanted to say for 10 years. The Elf City is out this month. What might be a surprise to you is how much else there is in September. I really can't remember a month this crammed, but before I let the cat out of the bag, let's talk about Priv Dennis. So, if you've been keeping up with Mod Elfborn's videos, you'll know a lot about what's coming. You'll know about the new Slayer Master with his own boss Slayer challenge and distraction and diversion. You'll know about the Max Guild with its skill portals, combat portal and completionist throne. You'll know about the Seren Stones for resource-free mining and smithing. And you'll know about Crystal Tree Farming Patches, Elder Tree Farming Patches, Infuriation-free Pickpocketing, two new Grand Exchange locations and the voice of Seren which randomly makes one of the Elf City families more rewarding. What you won't know is how spectacular the final Elf City is looking. It's grand, huge, bustling, beautiful and comprehensive, densely packed with all your favourite training methods. We really do think it will change up your RuneScape routines. It's worth remembering that this is just the first half of the Elf City release. The final four families of the Elf City are due to be released in November, when things get real and the Elf City becomes the biggest city in the game. Next is something else that could change the way you play RuneScape. We call it the grouping system. This is a single multiplayer lobby that doesn't require you to travel or even give up what you're doing. State a preference for the games you want to play and the system will match make a suitable group as you get on with the important stuff. You'll also be able to invite players across worlds, as well as from your clan list, friends list, public chat or by name. Chat to them via a new group chat channel and let the system form a group for you 100% hassle free. And when you're ready to play, the group leader can teleport the entire group to the starting area. And we're launching with combat areas, dungeoneering, social slayer, various multiplayer minigames and all manner of boss fights. Also bringing attention to older content is an update that you voted for. In May, you chose to make runes more valuable, and we attempt to do exactly that, with a bizarre contraption called the Rune Goldberg Machine. This will be a daily D&D, where you can experiment with turning runes into a sticky goo called Vizwax. This wax will extend the duration of most auras, re-roll daily challenges, double the duration and reward of daily challenges, or increase your divination location gathering limit. But not everyone is interested in gaining XP, some are actually interested in losing it. In September, we'll be offering two completely free packages to anyone interested in reclaiming their pure accounts. One package resets your constitution to 10 and prayer level to 1. The other resets defense to 1. While that may seem niche, the next update is for everyone. From the people who brought you Super September and the Rudescape Road Trip, we will be releasing something that will get you in game every day to win prizes and meet with the occasional J-Mod. More news will come on the 1st of September. If that sounds tame, we've taken inspiration from Iron Man challenges and are making it an official mode within RuneScape. This really is experimental, so we expect lots of feedback from you as we fine tune it. On account setup, you'll be able to choose between Iron Man and Hardcore Iron Man modes. These can be toggled off, but never on. Iron Man mode stops you from trading, so you'll have to be completely self-sufficient. But Hardcore Iron Man adds a twist. If you die, you'll not be able to log back into that character ever again. Death is a final permanent end, so you better think twice before you wander into a hazardous situation. So if you think seismic wands are a cinch to get hold of, try to get one. I double day. The ninjas will come to the party with expert skill capes, which give 99ers something new to aim for. These capes represent 99s in a number of tied skills, and they can only be gained by finding shard items when skilling at level 99. These shards won't be common, so be vigilant for when they might appear in your inventory. The expert skill capes are looking cool, and each has a brand new and extravagant emote. Finally, on Solomon's store, we welcome back the Bank Boosters. We offer the Zerosian Devotion Pack with two sinister Zerosian outfits, and the Prithinian Riches Pack, which offers melee, ranged, and magic elf outfits. 
To celebrate Talk Like a Pirate Day, Treasure Hunter and other pirate-themed in-game actions will be dishing out doubloons, which can be traded for pirate rewards. There's a pirate sheep, a walk the plank emote, and swordfish weapons to name a few. You really will be the toast of our doin. You can enter the next chapter of Yu-Gi-Oh! with a new way to summon, Pendulum Monsters. You can add the latest cards to your deck, plus two power-up packs with Starter Deck Space Time Showdown. Each deck sold separately. Konami. Tenía que mandar un mail. No te quedes nunca sin internet. En este regreso a clases, Claro Internet Prepago te salva. Recarga y navega desde tres soles.